Hello everybody, it's Andrew here, and welcome back to, you guessed it, I just, I couldn't speak, so I just said that, so, yeah, um, yeah, we're back with NAF VR, uh, I'm filming this at, uh, the time when Mirror's going live, or, like, at least, like, you see, like, oh, yeah, 57 minutes or something. But let's just take on Freddy's, it, Freddy, because you know what happened last time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Freddy's got a pretty good, good job. Now place the hat in the lock. While we're at it, let's make sure. Well done. Check inside. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Right. shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Right. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe right. and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. Yeah! To close Freddy's Let's chest go. cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time uh, in parts and yes. service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Well, huh? Best out here. Doing all this stuff, trying to get the electronics. Alright, we got L chips. Uh, this must be the spicy flavor. Or I am just completely insane. I mean, channel name, you know. <laughs> Alright, uh, now, uh, I want to try something I never tried before. Vent. Right, grab and release, push buttons, make repairs. Right, I'm guessing this is kind of like parts and service, sort of. <laughs> oh no. Welcome to Vet Repair. Fazbear yeah. Entertainment prides itself on having the most comfortable facilities. Each facility is set to a perfect 72 degrees all the time. The <laughs> oh no. Flash my light over. I am trying to be scared right now.
apron. Perfect. 72 degrees. Good job. Oh my god. See you next time. I never done this before. Bruh. Yeah! Aw, Foxy. Yeet. Sorry, I have to be quiet because my parents are sleeping. Well, look at where I am. We can hear you, you know that. Uh, I guess probably brought the service Foxy. Alright. Let's see Foxy. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his... Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no. It looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Alright. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. I see you, Foxy. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Well done. Oh this gosh. concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. Yay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I played Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and... Um, uh, set girl tape. Is that a balloon? So let's go quickly listen to that. Let's see what our cassette girl has to say. I'm short, I'm short, I'm short. Right. The drawers have been emptied out. Someone was here. I don't think it was spring cleaning either. No, there was plastic on the floor. Someone was definitely here during the night. It had to have been the client. I mean, they sent us that stuff in the first place with no explanation. No, it's that. It's that. Told us to scan it. Said it would expedite the process so we wouldn't need to program any pathfinding it's ourselves. That. It's that. Well, it was a budget it's thing, I guess. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Look pretty old. Somehow, though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Wait. Things started changing. But then, 
he started appearing. At least that's what Jeremy said. Alright, so this is the full storyline. This thing is not just some, oh, just a little bug thing. No, it's actually a danger to reality. And so, basically, they use some old Fazbear code, and that was inside of the old Fazbear code. If I'm getting it, and Jeremy might be involved with the slicer thing. Slicer. Slicer. Uh, this is just perfect nightmare land, isn't it? Well, too bad. Alright. Oh, we can do nightmare mode parts in service. Alright, epilepsy, epilepsy warning. Uh, like it said in the first episode. Right. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, yeah. it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job. Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle. Well done. Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle. Good job. To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button, press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job. Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate, and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services Ooh. task. See you next time. Oh, Bonnie the Buddy. Yeah. Oh, chick lemon bar. It's pixelated. Yeah. Oh, and did I tell you if we die in nightmare mode, uh, Carl might <coughs> turn against us? Yeah. I don't enjoy it too. How should be a good guy. Alright. Welcome Chica. back to Parts and Service. What there have been the? customer complaints about Chica's acrid oh, smell. Nightmare called Sounds okay. like Chica has been rummaging around the kitchen again. Remove all food particles from Chica's exterior and place it in the refuse bin on your right. Good job. Make sure Chica is not hiding any other treats inside her beak. To open her beak, carefully press the two buttons. Oh no! It looks like Chica has picked up some unwanted friends. To avoid inhaling the chemi spray, exposure to cleaning, Dude, disinfecting, and maintenance chemicals may result in respiratory problems, skin, or eye irritation. Good job. Now reattach Chica's upper arm, hand, and cupcake plate. Alright, Nightmare Crawl the Cupcake. Oh no, it looks like the chemi spray is no longer effective. To combat the infestation, pick them off by hand if necessary. Return the cupcake to Chica's plate. Great job. Chica is ready to serve pizza and hugs to the kids again. Take a complimentary slice of pizza for a job well done. Thank you.
delicious. See you next time. Alright, uh, I'm wondering if we'll see some even weirder stuff with Freddy and Foxy. Alright, uh, pirate, uh, uh, I don't care what it is, it's tasty. What have they done to you, my love? Welcome back to Parts and Service. What it looks like one of our been? guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully, oh, yeah. grab and... Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Good job. Now place the hat in the... While we're at it, Let's make sure there isn't any- Well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to... Great job! To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done! Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no, you seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press yeah. the large black button on the center of We're Freddy's face. Things. That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Dude, I don't know why they docked the pay. I mean, we do it correctly. Oh, that's nightmare fool, it feels. <laughs> All right. Using proprietary technology developed by Fazbear Entertainment, our VR development teams were able to use vintage control boards almost like plug and play, Hi. digitally recreating performances and personalities from the past in an instant. your favorite cake uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, ice cream cake for any people that uh, have a cold allergy <laughs> that might be just uh, a bit stupid but like um if you actually have that I'm very sorry but uh Let's go and see Foxy. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission mm -hmm. for quite some time. This series of simple <laughs> repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. 
Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's I'm leg receptacle. Buddy, don't worry. I'm to avoid bodily up. harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Yeah, keep an eye on Foxy. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Don't worry, I'm watching you go. You kind of look like you got mad at me. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Pilot Cove can now be reopened. Yeah. Uh, full nightmare. Uh. Stuff completed. Uh, can I eat this? No, that it's trash. He's not going to speak. Neither did our friend come out. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. God bless. I'll see you later with some more FNAF VR. And goodbye.